One week from today, it will be 10 years since the mass shooting at Northern Illinois University. Not only did it change that campus forever, but it changed the lives of those who survived that horror. Tonight in this original report, we take a closer look to see how some of those survivors are doing a decade later. It was just another Valentine's Day for us. We have some breaking news coming to us from Northern Illinois University in DeKalb. And a guy in a long trench coat walks in, doesn't say a word, pulls out a shotgun and starts shooting at us. It happened shortly after 3 p.m. inside NIU's Cole Hall. And here's where the shooting took place. The shooter killed five students and injured more than 20 others, including Patrick Corellis. I felt something hit me in the back of the head. I looked and my hand was bleeding. Corellis graduated later that spring. Harold Ng, a year later. Though the survivors weren't close before, they are now. You know, we're for bonded by, by a tragedy and we do the best each other to help each other, you know, lift up in these um, difficult times. Cold, crisp days remind Kelly Wazner Michael of what happened 10 years ago. Now Dean of Students, she spoke with me in what used to be the classroom where the shooting happened. Now it's an anthropology museum. Are you a resource for anybody else that has been a part of a mass shooting since yeah. yours? We decided we had an obligation to educate our colleagues about how to be ready, how to respond. This permanent memorial is a reminder of that violent Valentine's Day a decade ago. The names of those murdered etched in stone. And while the university knows this tragedy is part of its history, NIU doesn't want to be defined by it. I think all of us live our lives a little bit different knowing how quickly and just a heartbeat it all changes. This journey is also about those left behind like Joe and Laurel Dubowski, whose daughter Gail died that day. She never got to walk across the stage at graduation, but in 2012, her father did. <sighs> Words can't describe. <laughs> After a career change inspired by his grief. And I've been working with um, grievers for the last eight years or so. Corellis works full time at Walgreens corporate offices and lives with buckshot in his arm and head. Still have a sharp pain when it gets really cold, the back of my neck. Ng is working on a second book about overcoming tragedy, but still has moments of angst. Big loud noises, I still um, tend to shy away from those. Ng and the others will return to campus Friday when memorial events begin for survivors and victims' families. Are you looking forward to it? I'm looking forward to seeing people. It's going to be hard, but we'll be together. A new exhibit of the shooting opened at NIU this week and starting Friday and running all weekend, there will be private and public events to acknowledge that dark day. The next Wednesday, a vigil exactly 10 years after the shooting.